I go on again, my opinionated peeps. So people recently a plane crash in Jamaica, right? And everybody started them speculation. All different type nonsense we saw circulating the internet. Everybody have for them own opinion as to relations to the plane what did i go on with it how it go down how come you know air control air traffic control now pick up on it everybody have for them own theories as to what was going down some people are say a alien are coming <laughs> boy some people are jamaica some people even did that say a uh, 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 corona them are bringing at the country others i say it is all about drugs now when we hear that one day that one they sound a little bit more logical than the other two, right? Yeah. So, Dr. Love there and Dr. Love are all a reasoning pertaining to this. Now, don't mind Dr. Love, you know. Him, 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 this is, in my opinion, still speculation, you know, because Dr. Love clearly has no concrete evidence that that is what happened. But common sense is what Dr. Love is speaking on. All right? So, people, make we hear what Dr. Love have to say pertaining to this plane landing in Jamaica. You know, all this excitement, all this excitement about a plane crash in a Clarendon, right? All this rocky point, the plane crash in a rocky point. All this excitement and all this back and forth and the police and everybody, they act like they're stupid. Them going back and forth and some people talking about, oh, the plane carry new virus come to Jamaica and the plane carry here and come to Jamaica, all kind of crap is going around and all of that and blah, 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 blah. You have to go and do your research, people, and you have to know things. That plane that crashed in Iraqi Point, first, first before, even go to, before we even go to that, you see Jamaica, air traffic control, there are nothing but a bunch of assholes and a bunch of idiots. Jamaica, right? Right, plane was land, sorry. Those air traffic control, people them that control air traffic in Jamaica, they're a bunch of assholes. And not only they're a bunch of assholes, even the government is a bunch of assholes. The people them who are in charge of security in Jamaica is a bunch of assholes. Right? And I want to hear what they're going to come and say about it. I want to hear the story they might give because first of all, right, first of all, Jamaica air traffic is so careless. Right, the people who work here so careless and so lacking, and the government is aware of these things that happen over and over and over, and they do they do nothing about it because all this big hotel and these big business in Jamaica and these some of these leaders, politician leaders that you see down there and so forth, they're involved in a lot in a lot of not narcotics. They're involved in a lot of drugs. That's how some of them have them big car and them big house, them big mansion, like somebody in a government. Well, as I say, like somebody in a government family were involved in a, in a narcotics very big. Like somebody in a government. So me, yeah, like somebody in a government with them family involved in a narcotics very, very big. All right, people, take it from me. I used to live at a home. I used to live at a home. All right? Anyway, back to the conversation now. How could a plane enter Jamaica and air traffic control cannot give any information about that plane? How could a plane, right? For the safety of the Jamaican people and the safety of our country. Do you really think that a plane is going to enter Jamaica and air traffic control? Don't pick it up on the radar. No notify and nothing. We not see nothing come out about. Let me tell you something. That plane was, was transporting narcotics to Jamaica. That's what it was. It was transporting nar narcotics. That plane was in Bahamas. From Bahamas. That plane is coming from Colombia. Bahamas, right? That plane is a Mexican plane. It's a plane, right, that belongs to Mexico. That plane belongs to Mexico. You hear me say? That plane belongs to Mexico. And that plane is coming from different places. That plane was landed at different places, right? Because that plane was not taking a straight run. Okay? So what happened is that the, the asshole, well, the E that you have fly the plane, you know, giving instruction where to go, what to do, right drop off pick up money because jamaica is one of the places one of the hub that they transport drugs to and the government is aware of it because a lot of them is involved in it right and the either to fly the plane now don't have any phone because guess what happened him don't want to radar radar 
upon the um to your traffic control because then that would be a problem with other people would talk and whatever it is so guess what happened he might have no choice but to land the plane because he don't know where he's going don't know what's going on so him land the plane and him bail from the plane that's what it is him land the plane and him bail from the plane him land the plane and him bail from the plane that plane is a narcotics plane that's what that plane is right and even if he's flying below the radar, even if he's flying below the radar, what happened to our authorities? What happened to our authorities? That's what I want to know. What happened to it? We don't stop put up things on top of our plane. That plane has come from, from various places. That plane is coming from various places. It's not only the set, it has come from other places. That plane, you understand? That plane, belong to mexico and that plane right mexico colombia bahamas jamaica it's a jugs plane transporting things picking up things that's what that plane is right now here's the thing now here's the thing about this now right the person who that was flying the plane right it wasn't one person in the plane it was two person in the plane that was flying the plane right two person that was in the plane right so those person that was in that plane and so forth they are still in jamaica and so forth they probably get been picked up already or whatever it is and so forth right and i want to see what your traffic control is going to say about it and what the police them that claim that they are investigating to see what the investigation is going to be like nothing gonna come out of it here right nothing gonna come out of it and these are things that happen regular over and over and over and over and over jamaica it happened plane coming at jamaica right drop off drugs pick up money gone again right them do them route them do them business and them out playing from different places not only from bahamas um you have dominican republic right you got all these different um country right um right so that's what happened the plane never bring no covid down there never bring no vaccine they never bring no yelling they never bring no doppy down there right two asshole two asshole that's what it was right right and that is the same way the same way a plane flying into jamaica is the same way all these illegal chinese and illegal people flying into jamaica right the government is aware of it and they do nothing about it because as long as you know as the jamaican people nothing comes out of it when they're not transport drugs they're not transport money when they're not transport money they're not transport guns all kind of illegal activity comes out of jamaica come into jamaica from out of jamaica and then transport from plane and go to different places that's what it is so it's not like what the people are talking about and, and the chat all this cock and bull story about plane this and all of that and jamaica mash up now and all of that are drugs they might carry Jugs. Jugs is a plane that traffic narcotics and money. Right? So I want to get that out on the head and all of that. And as I said, I don't want to hear anybody come talk about well the police are investigation. What are they investigating? Hmm? What are these police investigating? Investigating nothing. Nothing gonna comes out of it. Nothing. They might go move the plane out of the water and the rightful owner. Somebody will come clear the plane and the plane will go back where it come from or whatever it is. And they want to know the plane there, Jamaica. Well, the plane was at this airport and this person was flying and him land the plane or whatever. It is. So listen for the story that's coming out of this. Listen for the story. Listen how the government is going to pretty up the story and make you as a people look stupid and make you people look like they are doing a good job and an air traffic control, whether it's a fly high low or whatever, half a radar, pan radar. So just listen for the story that's going to come for the security minister or whoever it is or the commissioner. Just wait for the. Oh, now I'm going to show you how illiterate these people are and how stupid these people are. Wait for the story. Because they sit down and write them story and cook up their story. The rightful owner and the person that know what was going on, they might cook up their story and everybody will get money. And they might write them look a cock and bull story if you can't get to own people. That's what's going to happen. Right? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you this. All majority of government officials in Jamaica sell drugs. You hear me tell you no? Right? Majority, let me tell you this. Take it from me when I tell you this. Majority of these big heads in Jamaica sell drugs. Involved in cocaine and involved involve in cocaine. More than they involved in marijuana. Yeah? 
most of these big hotel owners and all of them then transport drugs to the, from Colombia to Yasa to America to Yasa, all different when them now use people as a mule them have them plane, them have them boat and all that and so forth take it from me where I tell her I'm 37 years old and the most cocaine I ever seen in my life the most cocaine I ever see in my life in my entire life the amount of cocaine I can fill I may have one of the, the Toyota Tanjo can fill the back in my truck here, so fill the back outside, fill the front here, so without me in it, and can make another load again. The most cocaine I ever see is in Jamaica, right? The most I ever see in my life, the most cocaine I ever see. I've never seen that most cocaine nowhere, not even in the United States, matter what me never see. The most cocaine I ever see was in Jamaica, in St. Thomas. Right? And guess what happened? We have to understand this. We have a lot of Mexicans there, Jamaica. And the Mexicans, they might bring the drugs them down there. Colombian, they might give the Mexicans the drugs. The Mexicans, they might send the drugs and so They are running this thing and a lot of killing and a lot of secret killing going on in Jamaica and so forth. And Jamaica, our leaders, our leaders are involved in these farmer behavior. Right? They involve RT Wagwan. Uh, people, hold on before we go to uh, this. RT, I don't know if I real RT this, but people, RT is running from my life. I asked RT to come on, talk to you Tuesday, right? I don't sure if I the right RT, but RT is on the page and for him. I asked RT to come on to talk to you Tuesday. Me want to talk to him because I have to come talk to you. And RT tell me, say, Dr. Love, I'm not coming on your show. That's what he tell me. Now, remember this. May I go back to that in a minute. Remember RT, when you come on Facebook and me and fret them, I lied to you. Me and fret them, I lied to you. And make you end up get a lot of followers and get a name. Remember that. Let's go back to all of that. Remember that me and fret them is the bulldog. Right? Now, you must not forget where you're coming from, but guess what happened? The difference with me and all this rest of people, they might do interview with them and take it. Me want to know the truth and me go ask you the truth. And RT, you cannot tell me the truth. You cannot tell me the truth, RT. You cannot come on my page and speak the truth. So therefore, you refuse to come. If you was a real reader, man, and what you are doing was truth and all of that, you would have said, okay, Dr. Love, I'm going to come on the show or whatever it is. Because RT, nothing is going for you right now. The spy situation that dead, nothing is going for you right now. Nothing not going on for you right now. You understand me? I say, no matter what money you gain or whatever it is and so forth, right? Like the way you do your things because you're smart. You manage to make a name. But RT, the fact that you're running from my show, me have somebody else. I have somebody else who are coming because a real person who is involved in reading a spiritual person, they would not have any problem coming on and speak their mind and say, Dr. Love, because when me ask you, say, if you're a real reader, man, and so forth, you go have to read something online and tell me. You go have to read something online and tell me. And you cannot read something online and tell me. Because you know say me know the truth. And you know say me know what I go on. So the fact that Right? It's not is not him. Okay, when well somebody are using him, well guess what happened? He will get the message, cause trust me, RT depend on everybody page. The fact that you know want to come on by my life, that tell you say. You're a liar. Come prove to me that you're not a liar. Deliver the message. Back to the conversation. Wallace, big up yourself. No, anyway. As I was saying to him before, the most, the most, the most cocaine I ever seen in my life is in St. Thomas, Jamaica. The most. And I was 14 years old. Right? You understand what I say? I was 14 years old. 14 years old when I say I like cocaine in Jamaica. And when I saw the cocaine in Jamaica, I was 14 years old. It was somebody who was big in a power. Big, big, big. What I mean big in a power? Big in a power was in charge. Not only big in a power, but was in charge. And the amount of cocaine when we sit in a Jamaica people. Right? And I can't tell you oh, exactly. Right? We drive from... Kingston to St. Thomas 
I was in another vehicle. It was a bunch of us. Police car they behind. Police who know where I go and they behind and so forth. I drive, right? We was rushing to St. Thomas and how me end up go go with them and so forth. And I swear to God, when raise my right hand, I swear to God up above for my kids them life. Oh, we end up go to St. Thomas and so forth. I was at the house and them eh, all of a sudden them have to rush go somewhere and so forth. And then radar police, when I say I was police station, right? Because as I said, police was involved. And I end up with now and car. I never forgot the black car that I did. I would drive go to St. Thomas. I went, I would drive go to St. Thomas. We go to one river. I remember the, one beach. I remember the beach name. But even if you can't remember good, the beach have one big, like a big warehouse. Like it. it have like a big building. I mean, what kind of building it is. Right? And when we pull up there and so forth, a whole pack of line up. There was some Rasta man there and all of that. And when, when the person comes to the car, everybody come and salute the person and say, Yeah, big up boss and rate it. Yeah, I did it as a kid. And then I walk go down to the, to the seaside. Oh, we we'll go down to the seaside and so me did they walk away because you know you pick me or whatever it is then nothing say so you know where I go on. So me I walk go down to the seaside, we we'll go down to the seaside, we we'll say these man down at the seaside and some sitting a pull out of the water. Some big old sitting with plastic over it, well plastic up and then I pull them up, right? And me here me never forget me when I man say, Oh then just left you know, right? And then I pull them up and then pull them up one hole for them. And then we have one one sitting like a cat and big something like a cat and then I lift them up some big packet me that say the packet them is probably about me that say probably about a 12 12 inches 15 inches probably by 20 24 some big packet them up pull them up them up pull them up and then put some of them on the, on the um on the thing and then roll it then them them, them push out the cat and then go in at the building and them in a building so anyway um me didn't know I watch where I go on and them in that building and so forth and remember when I person to me said, Oh stay here sir. Right? And I saw the thing I mean I lied to your people. One of the package, I never forget one of the package. When they put up on that package, for some reason one of the package burst. And I remember seeing the white thing. I remember seeing the white thing. And me said to a person, now I call him, I said to a person, I said, That's a whole of milk powder. I remember it like today yet. I was about 14, 14, 15 to be exact. Right? I said to the person, that's a lot of milk powder. Right? And when I said milk powder, I mean I said it's a lot of milk powder. All me want to know, you pick me and say milk powder, you want some milk powder, you see milk powder. And my man said, oh don't go over there, so don't touch it. And them going at the them go in the building and they in the in the field. Along with me sit down, they may go sit down in the car. And me and one of the other police brother in the outer door. I smoke a lot in the out and me don't remember what if we that talk about with the outside because I'm a picnic. And then they did they did for a good for a good while till half a sudden now one chuck come and the truck back up and me said I put things in that truck until the truck drive off and left. And we did that till we left and we are come back down again and we stop at one place, one bar, where they sell jerk pork and sitting. And look up, place on the roadside, and then tap and then buy food and buy pork and we left and we come back down. And I remember I talked to today yet. And the person that was doing it, that was involved in it, is a big person that big in a politics and was involved in politics. What me involved in a big in a politics, you know, glorify them, you know, you know, you know, you know, praise them and all of that and so forth. You understand me? I say, right? One of them was in charge of the country at some point. One of them was in charge of the country at some point right in dead now anyway back to the conversation and me say that so when you see these planes and things like this and these things happen when you don't feel don't be surprised like boy jamaica this and jamaica that and all this happen it happen regular plane come to jamaica come drop off money pick up drugs and out right and guess what happens? Sometimes these planes come to Jamaica, then bring people in that work in Jamaica, that work in the narcotics field. And this is a big problem that Jamaica have, United States have with Jamaica, this back and forth, because all these drugs that's traveling, and we're not coming from boat, are coming from plane and so forth, all kind of things. And drugs are traveling and plane, right? Through our airport, through our two major airports, 
landing in Miami and different places where it's supposed to go, England and different places, and people on the ground there are working as people in Jamaica are working. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't feel surprised by this and feel like well, it's a coincidence as so. That plane was, tra was transporting narcotics. It came to drop off and it came to pick up and the E that we have fly the plane couldn't radar because guess what happened? The fact that I've been radar, I uh, will go on my general. Right? The, the, fl the fact that if him radar and so forth, other people that's not involved in it, people are going to talk or whatever it is. So that's why. The he that just land the plane in the water. Him last, him don't know where I go. Because whatever instruction he give him, never follow the instruction and so forth. Him don't know the place like that. And that's what take place in the rocky points. You understand? They kill me for the truth, please. All of them when you see come on TV and come in at them neck it, them, them jacket and tie and come on at that big time. All of them are juggies. All of them. All of them used to come on on TV and come out with them big chat and all of that on that glory. The whole of them, the whole of them involved. Majority, majority of people that's in power in Jamaica, them do wrongdoings and all of that. And of them bring in the, the guns and the drugs, the man and the, and the poor little people them will get blamed, don't have nothing to do with it a lot of times. Okay? At you, you attack him dead for you. Exactly. Thank you, my friend, because you must know what's going on. One of, the, one, of, one of our biggest leaders that was in charge of the country, a Jamaica, was one of the big, because when we got sent him as that person was, was part of the involvement. And he was a person running the country. And he shipped the most drugs and the most thing out of Jamaica and so forth. That's why some of them dead bad. Okay? Um, little Jamaica is done now. My friend Jamaica is done now. Jamaica is done. Jamaica have all the money. That's why so much rich people there. Jamaica don't think I scam alone there. Jamaica live life. The drugs in Jamaica, the drugs business in Jamaica. Remember me tell you, it's ah, it up there. It's up there. They lock you up for saying all these things. All the money lock me up for. Then can't lock me up. Lock me up for what? Then can't lock me up. Lock me up for what? Please. Lock me up for what? For that, it's true. Thank you a lot for that. And I like me to tell. Our, our leaders involved in that things. I was involved in that thing. When I say our leaders are jive all, some of them are jive all some Bentley. Some of them are jive all some... Where can they name? All of them expensive carry they are Jamaica. No for them say I drive. Then no politics get to them or drugs get to them. And that get to them. Them big in it. They make them big money. That's why some of them... You have people there... Let me tell you something. You have people there Jamaica who are rich. Never travel yet. And don't want to travel. You have people there in Jamaica who have so much U.S. that things are bank them around and never travel. Never travel in their life yet. You think they a bank them one. You can't go to Jamaica and so much U.S. dollars down there. They have millions of dollars down there, pack up down there. Right? They don't need to travel. Anything they want, America, it come to them. Right? Um... Um, but you give me a deal. Everyone got to also. Yeah, man, politicians, them, man. I tell you, that's why you say leaders, them, you can't trust them. The leaders, them, you can't trust them. When they not take a boy, them, they are not take a girl, them, them not do this, them not do that. And when they hold on to you with a stack of weed, they know they want to lock you up and want to come beat you and say, Rasta this and Rasta that for your stack. And them are transport coke and coke dope everything through the, the narcotics is big right uh, right now i wouldn't mind get somebody else you can't go on and all of this i'm telling you god almighty troop on my kids them life up above me not like me see it before i've saw it i saw that before the most coke never see a jamaica me say that remember i tell you the most coke i ever seen in my life a jamaica me say that most as me say when a person was involved in it, was that person that they in charge of country at some point and in dead now. You understand? You think I look, you think I look up, think I look up girl picnic, they go to England and dead pan playing because sitting busting at them. They think I look up boy picnic. You think I look up family member can't find their, 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 their relative, what, where they only used to their relative travel go a friend and never hear from them again. Dead pan the way. Sitting busting at them and then dead pan the way and that's it. And people go follow me on Instagram. The last plane crash at Jamaica. 
Them say I drop a drop off. Drop it. Yeah, I drop a drop off too. They're not drugs drop off, man. Drugs drop off, you know. And people go follow me on Instagram. Let me put my Instagram page at the bottom down here. So. Oh no, wait, not that. Go follow me on Instagram. Me say people. Let me see my Instagram page. Go follow me on Instagram right now. Hey, people, I am sitting there and waiting. I want to hear where them are going to come on and say. Right? People in Jamaica live better than enough of them live, enough of them live over here. So. Remember me tell you that. I know people there in Jamaica were living so comfortable and so large and so big. When you ask them about fine, they say fine, when I do a fine. They say a fine, we have everything here. So. Everything I just said there. So we don't need to go a fine. Go follow me on Instagram. But I wait for you the news I got said. I wait for you. What's the investigation going to say? Me I wait for you, people. Me I wait for you how smart them is and what story them are coming with. Well, we, after our investigation, we realized that the plane that crashed, the plane was coming from Montego Bay or it was coming from Norman Manly Airport. And the pilot was doing a test run or the pilot was doing a training and he did not know where he was going and this or that and so forth. And then this is what happened and so forth. We have found the person and we have spoken to the person and pe the plane was not, tra tra uh, was not um, transport any narcotics, not any money and so forth. Right? As a matter of fact, the person lived at this such and place and so forth. And I know Ray Tay 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 and Blood, they might come with some story when I make it. Listen for the story that I come with. Listen for what story that I go come with. And when the story come, when I remember somebody telling us what take place. That plane is coming from various places. Various places that come from. Right? Various places that come. The plane wasn't wasn't bringing in any vaccine. It wasn't bringing any doppy. It never bring in a alien. It never bring in no pharma, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, um, virus. Then what's up? The plane was bringing merchandise and picking up merchandise. And the person that was flying the plane, they did not know where they were going because there was a problem and they don't have any phone and they could not radar. And guess what happened? Air traffic control is lacking because at the end of the day, whether it's a fly low or fly high, well, it was not on a radar and so forth, right? Then something wrong with our radar system. We need a new radar system. God, that did happen in America. That now up in America, no plane now fly high or low, and, and, and air traffic control don't pick it up that there is something in the air that don't supposed to be there. Not when you have government officials and people who are supposed to be protecting the country. So you're going to tell me that a plane travel low and it never pick up on no radar, and it's a fly around Jamaica like that, for the risk of the people of Jamaica. Hmm? For most of the people, now if that plane did crash, right, and kill somebody or they crash at Jamaica house or somewhere and so forth, what would have been the result? Hmm? What would have been the result? As I said to you before, this is facts. I've seen it before. Me now nah go off a year, say. Me see it before. Plane come at Jamaica regular come drop off jugs. There's a there's a there's a place near Well Peace. There's a place called Well Please. For Red Park Estate. They have an airstrip over there. Oh. Mm -mm. There's a there's a there's a place called Well Peace. Red Park Estate where Rumbar is located. They have an airstrip over there. And plane used to go there and pick up drugs and leave with drugs at airstrip. Right? Where Rumbar factory is. On the other side. There's a lot of little private airstrip there, Jamaica. Lot of them there are Jamaica and drugs are coming in rapid. It has been happening for years and years and it's not going to change. And every time something has happened, the people that are in charge of power that are involved in it always come up with some cock and bull sorry story to tell you as a people and you believe whatever it is. Because whatever they tell you right now, they might tell us, let me tell you, these people are so wicked that these people will turn around and take the responsibility and take the blame and say they were flying the plane or this person and just give a name because guess what happened? Less people know and the less questions people ask. So I want to know how this is going to be adjusted and all of that. But guess what happened? It's not the first plane to fly in with drugs and left with it. Because Jamaica is a hub for drugs. 
Every week there's, 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 there's thousands of drugs that's coming into Jamaica. I know you have all different kind of people in Jamaica and so forth. It's a market for drugs. And it's a market, it's a wholesale to import and export. So because of that and so forth, we have this problem. And all these guns where you see where they are Jamaica and so forth. Drugs now go to Jamaica and without gun. All this high power weapon wanna see they are Jamaica and so forth. Them down there. Them coming through water and then coming through plane. You understand? And them no. Exactly. Exactly. If the plane they crash, if the plane they crash, it would have better for them. Right? It would have better for them if the plane they crash, but the plane never crash. The plane crash and the people run out of the plane. Because guess what happened? The local police and the local resident them. They don't want nobody to see if nobody to talk to them, them, them guess what happened? Them them then left the plane quick. And when they left the plane and so forth, trust me, they will find a way to get around. They will find a way to get around. They will find a way to get around and then we'll find a way to get a phone call and who still right is in charge of it trust me them people that pick up a long time and sleep in one bed and comfortable just wait and the government to turn around and just arrest somebody and said that person was flying the plane or whatever it is just to make themselves look good um yeah my friend thank you for one of the handbag you can give me if something never wrong there Exactly. No plane. They never take out no, no seat out of no plane. Right? It's a plane, yes, that, that brings re regular passenger. But then did not take the seat out of the plane and the water. Can't believe you. You're a Jamaican. This man is a PMP. For sure. Trying to bring down the Jamaican government. Hey, Ray. Uh, right, where you not gonna find one? Where you not gonna find one with an uh, in a man in a sock man? Anybody ask a thing about bring on Jamaica or drunker like you? Eh? Bring on Jamaica and so forth. Or literate drunker like you. Hmm? Or combobulated sitting like you. Bring on Jamaica. One of the people say, remember black you. I don't want to chat to you, drunker. You're not even a real person. As a matter of fact, I never have black you. Tell me, if you look like when them in time bread not to us good. You're so ugly. Hmm? This is ugly. Anyway, back to the conversation before that mongrel come over here. As I was saying to you before, what's going on, my friend? Oh no, we soon hear the story. We're sitting and waiting for the news. And in the news today, a plane crash, a rocky point, and the plane was this. It was that person playing and all of that. You think the government that going to tell us, eh? a plane don't come from Jamaica and up there? You think the government are going to come take responsibility and say, okay, them have located or them, them do an investigation and it was an illegal plane. The first question them are people are going to ask, how the plane reach a Jamaican in the first place would not pick up on the radar? Whether it fly low or high? That is the first question. That's the first question people are going to ask. Them are going to come on and make them cock and bull story and say, the plane were crash. Them now go come and tell say, well, the, 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 we don't know who it was and we don't know where the plane is coming from. That is a big problem. And that is a big problem for the for the US Marshal them where they are Jamaica. Because the US Marshal them where they are Jamaica know about it. No, I, I go know about it and see it. So at the end of the day, do you think the government are gonna come up with a solution first? Right? To tell you as a people, I they might go tell the truth. They're not going to tell you. They might come up with something. They might go take responsibility and say the plane, the person live at Jamaica, it was a private plane that come into the country and it was, and they will even find a person and put a person upon the earth and say it was his plane. But they will not come on and say it was an illegal plane that entered the island. How does an illegal plane enter the island in the first place and never pick up by none of our coast guard, never pick up by your traffic control, whether it was flying high or low, they're not going to come and tell them. What does that tell you? Your traffic control must know. They must know. Whether they fly, whether they fly up on the east side, the west side, the north side, your traffic control must pick it up at some point. They must pick it up. Hmm? 
And guess what happened to? The plane must have. The plane have a box on it. The plane have a box on it. So therefore, if the plane have a box on it, it will tell you, not only that too. Not only that too. If the plane is transporting drugs, them can do a swab of the plane. If the plane was transporting money, them can do us. Well, we don't have that technology to do so. They don't want to do so. Hmm? They said it's from Antigua and and two men at the hospital. Then find two men, then just find two small they said then come from Antigua and they said out of the hospital. Please. Okay, so all the plane. Where they was going? What was their chance? Oh no, they were coming from Antigua or somewhere and they were transporting goods. What kind of goods? Merchandise. It was a private company and they was bringing this stuff into the country. Oh really? Hmm? Oh really? Oh, they was bringing in milk powder, they was bringing in juice from this country or that. Really? Anyway, I got to go. Big up on yourself. But me never come and adjust that this man in a tattoo. Follow me on Instagram. Right? Follow me on Instagram. But that plane, I don't care what them tell me in the world. Because first of all, if the plane landed on the water, the plane landed safely. And I think the plane was running. The plane landed on the water, the plane was still running. That means that when the plane landed on the water, even if the person gets a little bit of accident, those person manages to come off of the plane. So who can go to the hospital? That is the first thing. And where them are come from? That time of night. And what air traffic control have to say? Where were they going? That is the question. Waiting for the answer. You know it, tell me. Let's wait for the news. Hmm? And like I said, Right? The plane crashed in Jamaica with two aliens. They don't know them there. But the plane landed upon the water safely and was still running on the water. The police, right? The police are doing the investigation when the police and the resident have arrived. There was nobody in the plane and there was no seat. So they take out the seat out of the plane and the the, the plane was flying itself, so there's nobody in there. The person disappeared. And the police are doing the investigation. Well, listen to the news. That's the news that will come. Anyway, big up on yourself. There you are. Follow me on Instagram at the bottom of my page. Hmm? Bottom of the page. And if you and the pocketbooks, people that want the pocketbooks, um, um, people that want the pocketbooks, um, WhatsApp me, 973-342-2487. Um, send me a message and then um, get your pocketbooks. Somebody send me a request. I don't know who sent me a request. And I can't upset requests for some reason on the phone. I don't know where I go on. If I try to check it out. Um, RT need to read what happened. RT can't even read what the it is. RT do not even know what hours it is and what time it is. I don't know who RT can read. RT cannot read one squab. RT, no, no, no damn sense, please. Read what? RT, please. Tell him to go read about that one day. That one day I had an Irish school. Is, uh... Oh, it's a remote control plane. It was controlled by a remote. <laughs> you hold the funny. Anyway. Let me turn on this. So, as I was saying to the people now, before. Right? So, we are get, so we say we get the understanding. I want to go on now. Three person was on the on the flight. Right? Three person was on the flight. And the three person aboard the airline. The aircraft. Right? Three person. 
The last time that flight landed was in Mexico, January 31st, 2005 at 9.12. That's the last time that flight landed in Mexico. Right? That about what, 15 years ago, to be exact, am I correct? 15 years ago that flight landed in Mexico. At 9.12 to be exact. A.M. Since then that flight, right? The flight was registered and it was non-registered. So the flight is not registered at all. Right? So the three persons that was on board that flight are still currently there. Right? In the area. Three persons was aboard that flight. And on that flight, them find phone and laptop and stuff like that on the flight phone and laptop and stuff was on the flight you understand now here's the problem with that now how could a flight and the flight did not crash the flight was landed right then bring the flight down you feel me i say and then land the flight on the water and within the within, the, within that time and so forth stuff was taken off the flight and other stuff that was taken, the police allow, the, the, the law enforcement allow, right, was not rushing to the scene enough for people to get to get stuff off of that flight. So we want to know all that explanation. And people you can send me a request at the bottom. You can send me a request at the bottom. I want to understand is that how is that possible whether or not a flight is flying under the radar or above the radar? An unregistered flight. That means, it's like you're saying that an alien, right? Something that don't supposed to be somewhere, end up being somewhere. And we have air traffic control. We have our Coast Guard. We have law enforcement. We have our army. And they have helicopter and so forth. So the minute that happens and so forth, you hear say a flight crash because if you hear say a plane crash, that means that the news get out there fast. It should have reached to the right ears them. And if it reached to the right ears them and so forth, right? That means if the if 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 the army and the here and the air traffic control, if the air traffic control cannot present nothing, let me add this person here. To the may I add this person live. May I add this person some of the Americans may I add them to the live. Right? This is one we're gonna watch to see the explanation that comes out of it. You see what I'm saying? The person that sent me a live, you sent me a live, but then I tried to add any decline. Right? So I if you want to send if you want to send me a live, people, send me a live at the bottom if you want to come on live. Right? What's gonna be the explanation and so forth? Because we get to understand that the investigation are going on. What investigation? Only Jesus know what investigation is going on because it does not make a difference. It does not make sense. At the end of the day, there's an investigation going on. Uh, right um let me check the latest update because you don't have to come over so you can get the latest update you know the latest update you don't have to come over so you can get the latest update let me see what's the latest update they are putting out because the information are not let me see what's the latest update the latest update because you see the journalists did not get the news as it's supposed to be. You know. Well, the latest update don't come out it and so forth. Right? But this is what I'm asking. The question, how could our air traffic control be so careless? How comes our authority be so careless that something like this can take place? And people, as a matter of fact, people, residents, find themselves on the aircraft. If a plane crash and you hear someone plane crash and so forth, there's police. There's police that are close by. They should have been the first one on the scene. Nobody should have to get to go on that flight. And, and these people was on the flight. These residents was on the flight. And they might do video, they might do everything and so forth. That means that anything that is on that flight and so forth have been compromised with. Right? People get to go in this flight and up and down and all that. And so residents take over this flight and people, and not only that though, they are removing things from the flight. Where is the police and why the army? Why does the army 
somebody from the army? Why the security minister? Why they did not get somebody there immediately to secure that flight? That is the question I want to ask. How comes that not happen? How comes resident get to get to that aircraft so fast, even if they live close by and so forth, right? How comes none of that not take place? After the fact of people already approaching the aircraft and being on the aircraft is when you see you know, so police this and police that and so forth. So anything that was on that aircraft, do you really think that the resident is going to give it up? Do you really think the resident are going to give up anything that they get out of that aircraft? Anything that they haven't compromised with and so forth. Do you really think the resident of Rocky Point, that era, is going to give up anything? So anything then go on the aircraft and get, they're going to take it out of the aircraft. You can't get it from them because they're not going to give it up. Lack of leadership. Lack of our police force. That's what it is. Lack of our police force. The disgusting of our police force, of our leaders, the same thing over and over and over. And it comes around to the same question I ask. That plane could have crash landed in one of our hospitals, could have crash landed in one of um one of our schools, it could have crash landed. Jamaica House could have crash landed anywhere. It could have cost a lot of life. That is what I don't understand. That is an explanation that needs to be explained to us as, 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 as people, as Jamaican citizens. How did that happen in the first place? Because if a plane is flying lower, that means that yeah, you hear the plane more low than so forth. That should have been a red flag because if a plane is flying low, you have to say, no, I don't see it and say, well, um, there's a plane flying low and it look a little bit obvious and so forth. Nobody never noticed that. No law enforcement at all. Hmm? We're waiting for the investigation. But the flight have been compromised with already. People have been on the flight and they are removed stuff. So. They don't know them answer so them not them don't know there was nobody on the flight. But there was three persons. Let me say was on the flight. People would always know where I go on. Three persons was on the flight. And all them find pan flight and so forth. People find there's laptop and there's phone and stuff. But then find on the flight. So it, it no one know the explanation. Where we have to the explanation. Don't take him too long to explain that one day. You feel me, sir, people? That's a big problem. I mean, you know, I mean, it's like every day is something. And then you wonder why we have so much illegal gun and so much illegal stuff on the ground. And yet still. The Prime Minister come up every minute and say they're fighting crime and they're doing everything. The flight never landed on none of our airport. It never landed over Port Mobile, like the airport over, or what we have over there. So. Yesterday, yesterday, the country is well, is well protected and all that and so forth. When you see at the end of the day, it comes around say, then put them foot in their mouth where they might tell us that the country is secure and they might do a good job. When you see, when you see, they might do a good job. Eh? When you see? Make that happen in America. Yes, well, 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 Rochia Center. Make that happen. First of all, if I fly it, if I fly it, if I plane a fly, somebody somewhere, I pick it up. Something else, there's something wrong with that. Something is wrong with that. And then when I have some of the stupid people know, well, the flight land and the flight bring corona come down here. The flight bring another disease come down here. Hmm? That's a narcotics flight. That's a plane that's transport narcotics from places to places. Narcotics. That's what it is. It wasn't transporting food. It's a narcotics plane. It transports things. And it's an unregistered flight. It's not registered. That means that that flight go all over the place and fly up on the radar and do whatever it is and so forth. And listen, flight been coming to Jamaica, unregistered, landing in Jamaica, taking off out of Jamaica, and nothing comes out of it. I don't know it happened from way back in the 80s. But in the same time, they, they never have enough technology. We have more technology now. We have a lot, a lot of technology now. 
So the fact that we have technology, certain things should not happen and, is, and, and poor excuse for something that could have been prevented could have ended up cost life of somebody. I want to know what the security minister is going to say, what they are going to say about this, what the investigation intend, what's going to be the detail because the flight have been compromised and that flight should have been secure. From the minute that flight went down and so forth and people been saying that flight went down and so forth, what happened to the police force? The police force should have get there first and secure that flight to make sure that nothing been removed from that flight and people got it, them might take off this figure cell, them might this, them might that, and so nothing was secure as it should have secured. And guess what happened to? Guess what happened? In a situation like this, this is called for a minute, for, for emergency lockdown. This call for emergency lockdown. This is situation that happened that should call for emergency lockdown nothing out nothing in because there's a plane crash and there's a situation this call for emergency lockdown and what are the measures hmm? this call for emergency lockdown this call for the help of the public and i hope the public will assist the police them because they don't know they don't have too much brain i hope the public will assist and I hope you people are not harboring any, any fugitive in your home. It called for a lockdown. It called for a immediate lockdown. This is something that called for the army, right, to be dispatched immediately. Because something is definitely wrong. This is called for the army to be dispatched immediately. This is called for our army, our helicopters, to be dispatched immediately to see what they can locate because guess what happened few things happen here there's things that either been um what's the word you use there's things that are um either things have been thrown off that plane right they start to empty that plane something not right this call for the army immediately this call for our army helicopters immediately to start to surveil the area around that area to see if there's anything that's in the water this is called for the army this is a matter that should be dealt with immediately it's called for the army it's called for search did something get off that flight somewhere did they enter that flight somewhere what was on that flight and so forth it's called for that and how many hours it happened and so forth. And we still know yesterday's a lockdown. We still know yesterday's army have been dispatched and so forth. None of that and so forth. So where's the prime minister? Where's the head of security? Where's the security minister? We are, where are these people? Oh, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. Where are the security minister? Where is the prime minister? And how comes there's not something have been done and start? So okay, in the meantime, while Uno are saying secure not playing that that have been compromised with already. So if there's anything that have been dropped off anywhere and so forth, how no going to find it? Why the JDF was not dispatched? The JDF should be dispatched. They should be flying. They should be looking. They should be flying and looking to see what was thrown off that flight. Because something has to be thrown off that flight. And that flight it either was bringing or dropping off. One of the two of them. Either bring or a drop off. Or either say, bring and a pick up. Somewhere or the other. And guess what happened? If this never happened, that flight would have come drop off and pick up and fly out back without no problem. And if this never happened, we'll never know. Nobody will know. So we yet to see none. We yet to see this. We yet to see the army have been dispatched. We 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 yet to see drastic measure have been taken up to right now. We don't hear nothing. We, we don't see nothing go on. Nothing we don't see go on. So everything we are talking right now, watch and see if we don't see all that and for little little. I don't see. Just watch and see. All of this are going for and so forth. And fifty chances nothing are going to come out of it. 
Because somebody said something and somebody knows something. And the people them that was flying the plane is still in the area, see where they are still there. The three person are still there in the area. Somewhere in the area, at some home, somewhere, somewhere there, they are still there in the area, see where. Yes, the police force can do it by themselves. But this is bigger than the police them down the side there. This is calling for a bigger help. This is calling for good investigation. This is calling for the JDF. Because guess what happened? The JDF need to start to serve. Because first of all, the, 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 the minute this happened and so forth, and it was Lisa Wagwan, and, 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 and this was, they was notified. The JDF should have been dispatched and start to search every home, everywhere to locate somebody. And guess what happened? Then give them enough time that they can get out of there. Then give them enough time that they can get out. So what investigation can they do? Mm -hmm. The army should have dispatched immediately. Start to search all the women and everything and they would have come up with results. They are always so late, they're not quick on them and with things. Because they don't want to find them. Hmm? This is crazy. Really crazy. Anyway, let me see one answer. Some comment. Alright, I read some of your comments. I will read some of your guys' comments. Come here, what's up, darling? And while I'm at it, I still have the pocketbooks them see we are. Let me go in there and show another pocketbooks them. I still have the pocketbooks now while I'm at it. Oh damn. I still have the good pocketbooks them here. So if you're looking for good pocketbooks, I still have the good pocketbooks them see we are. Okay. Still have the good pocketbooks them see we are. So the good pocketbooks them there. So if you're looking for a good one. Looking for a good one, see there. See the good packet books, see the good packet books then. Okay, so you're looking for packet books. I still have some packet books here, right here. Right here. Some good packet books here. Yeah. See there. We have them here. Yeah. Okay. We are showing us something. Nice massage set right there. So see here. Showing the Rolex while I'm at it. Showing a nice Rolex while I'm at it, okay? Ready to go. Ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Ready to go. If you want, you can just WhatsApp me and see a nice piece of it. So I still have a nice piece of so. Very nice, see there. Mm. So see. Yep. Mm. I'm still having a nice Dr. Love t shirt, them right there. So, to say that you want a Dr. Love t shirt, see there, have a Dr. Love t shirt right there. So, and guys, remember that you can get in touch with me. You can get in touch with me at 973 
3422487. That's my number. If you want to send me a request, you can send me a request now at the bottom of the page. At the bottom of the page, you can send me a request if you want to. Anyway, what I go on now? Anyway, I'm look at so what I go on. Um, I read the back of my page to see what's, what on the comment is. I read the comment. And then remember this Tuesday coming is called Talk Truth Tuesday this Tuesday. I have the show lined up already for this Tuesday called Talk Truth Tuesday. And you guys can also follow me on instagram and this week is gonna be after oak it's from seven to nine every tuesday from seven to nine it's gonna be unbelievable i have about seven people lined up this week when i go when i go hear some things i'll never hear before and so forth right um i don't want to give an hint i don't want to give an hint i don't want to give an hint should i give an hint should I give you a hint? Big war in a family. 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 Big, big war in a family. Serious war in a family. May have mother come on, may have daughter come on. Hmm. Somebody out there scamming somebody money. Big problem. Which entertainer involving a big scamming? Talk to you Tuesday. Hmm? Who not like who, who eat who? And it's finally gonna come out. Who I walk up here upon who? Hmm? Which brother and which brother walk over upon one another? Wow, this Tuesday gonna be off the hook. It is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Which sister asleep with which sister, man? And a time feed stop. Which sister asleep with the other sister, man? And a time feed stop. Is it juicy enough? Hmm? Is it juicy enough? Whoa. Can't wait for Tuesday. Tuesday gonna be Tuesday gonna be slap way. Which entertainer borrow somebody panty and the person say they want about them panty and them I go burn it when they get it back? Is it juicy enough? Which entertainer? borrow another entertainer panty and the entertainer say then one at them panty and when they get it back them are going to burn it because the person never have a good panty and then borrow feed them panty because they wear the same size choose the gotta be after we get don't want to miss it seven o'clock choose the god's fear our life from seven to nine this tuesday and find a show kick off first we're gonna have immigration we have immigration talk I'm trying to show a kick off. Boy, I mean, I know, I have to go get a case, a, a beer, because that one, it big. That one, a big. That one, a big, 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 big. So each and every choose the telephone, the telephone. And if you're out there watching me right now and you want to advertise, Pantak Truth Tuesday, now is a good time for you to call and place your advertising to make sure that I will advertise for you. You can sponsor the show this Tuesday coming. So if you're watching me right now and you want to advertise, if you have a hair business, a near, a hair business, 
a nail business, a restaurant, a traveling business, a nursing home, um, a grocery business, a funeral home business, a life insurance business, and you want to advertise, call me now. Then I can dedicate some part in a show to you to advertise and promote your business. So this Tuesday, because remember, you're not only promoting on the show, you're going to promote. Because after the show done, the video will then go on a lot of channels all over. So your business will be advertising on channels. that. So you come to one channel now to get to every other channel. Because everybody else has posted a video. Because this, this Tuesday coming is a week that if, if, if you never advertise before, no one ever, you have to advertise because this one, this week, yeah, it's going to be very juicy. And on the show, you only can come and talk the truth. You can't come tell no story. You cannot come and tell no story. It has to be the real truth. This Tuesday from 7 to 9. Right? So come and you are going. You can call in. You can come on live. You know what I mean? And all of that. This Tuesday from 9. Follow me on Instagram page at Real Dr. Love Music right now. And if you need to get in touch with me for any reason, you can WhatsApp me, 973-342-2487. Yeah, try to check something. Oh, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mm. Talking about that, I'm talking to one of my guests for this Tuesday. Here's one of my guests. What's this somebody send me? Oh, wait a minute. Somebody send me a voice note. Somebody send me a voice note. Wait, let me show the person. So I'm getting some information now on the flight. What are we a lady and going to people? Go see, go see. Everyone a lady. I the best. <laughs> Wait, may I get some information? Some new updates are coming in. Hold on. I'm getting some new update coming in right now. Hold on a minute. New updates are coming in on the flight. Hold on. One of the people, may I get some new update? Hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting some new update. One of the people, new update are coming. One on. Hold on there. Hold on there. I'm getting information on the flight. Hold on, may I get some information from Clarendon? Hold well, on the people. Information are coming.
Well, I'm get some information. Hold on, the people. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. All right. What on the people? What on the minute? What on the? What on the? All right. All right. So um. All right. So let me know then. Let me know. All right. So. <laughs> so listen to this now. What me tell you say? What did I tell you about the plane? What me tell us about the plane? We we'll crash. We we'll landed. What did I tell you people about the plane? Hmm? Did I tell you guys it's a narcotics plane that is a, it's been a big problem? It's not the first thing that this happened. No, yeah, yeah everything I come out and know. Hmm? Me tell you it's a narcotics plane. That plane that that plane that crash is a twelve passenger plane. A 12 passenger plane, 12 people can fit in that plane. And they seat them not in the plane. That means that that plane and the plane is also unregistered. They cannot locate the, 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 the owner for that flight. And it's, it has been going on over and over. And it's not the first that same plane there have come down that side. There's a lot of drugs trafficking out of that side. A lot of drugs coming out of that side. Don't me tell us that. Don't me tell us that. So the three person we are we are board the plane. Only go and find them. And here's the thing we come down now. This is the right opportunity for the government to make a move. The army need to get involved immediately. They need to dispatch the army if the army immediately that they can bring this thing to a close and find somebody. Because the three person still in the area same way. What am I telling you, sir? The person them still not the area, so they don't leave the area. Cause people down that side is responsible and know what's going on. No, no, me I get understand that Mike Henry now I ask for immediate attention from the security force. What does that tell you say? Mike Henry now I ask for immediate assistance from the security force to come down there. And the police, them are saying that they secure the air, but it's too late to secure the air. So now them are asking emergency help. The urgent help right now at this minute is needed because they realize there's a big problem. What me tell you no say? Me tell you this way before you know. When me, when me tell you say, you will never believe me. You will never believe me. The, the army should have, the JDA should have been down there from early this month, from the minute the plane crashed, and they cannot locate anybody or don't have any information. The JDA should have been dispatched immediately, and they wait and wait until now. Hours and hours is now when them want to call in and say, I'm calling for help because there's a big problem. Where that telling us, eh? the JDA should have dispatched a long time. No, we not call for immediate help. Hmm? After the plane have been compromised, you know, I can't immediate help. Come on, man. You know, I tell us, you know, people, I keep telling them, oh, you when know, you know, I talk about government and talk about people, I tell them the problem. That's why the start of the year, and we have 22 murder, 13%. The start of the year already in January, we have 22 murder. 22 murder, that's that. So, how them must have crime? Oh, the Prime Minister come on and say, country, I move better than my do. What good job them are. Who not see the big problem? They're not doing anything. Who not see, who not see, who not see, say, who not see, say, a bunch of idiots at them. Bunch of fools and come and sit down and talk and I go back and forth. Make, all them are do, I tell you no things. 
for me that for no come on because go spend on the money and end up putting the life in a danger and then people come on and rob on and kill you know. them just are telling you something they couldn't come home when they don't go home then they have no they're not busy with you know, them then they're there for you know. me oh dear Whoa, unstoppable you unstoppable you unstoppable you